Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well and staying good wherever you are right now. I recently had shared few stories on my Instagram when we went to Hope Center, another location equal to IKEA but a bit more on the pricey side. There was good offers going on at that time. Not sure if it's still there. Anyways, let me show you what I purchased from there. These are floor mats that I always need. I change them every week and I need some spare ones all the time. This is one very pretty plate I found. Each plate, the original price was 4.9 real and that has come down to 1.4. This is a salt dispenser. I first thought this was an incense sticks holder. It looked very pretty with the floral design on. Another bowl which was suggested by Rihan. He loved the mandala art on this bowl. And my husband loved the plates. He asked me to put back the white ones and take this. But white was my favorite that I didn't want to replace. Finally ended up buying both. This teapot was noted when I was in Riyadh. I just loved it but as it was way too pricey, I didn't want to feel guilty of buying such an expensive teapot. Finally I got it at a very good rate. This is a very common item, but I didn't have one or anything similar to this, but was looking forward to have one. This was the last piece and I got my hands on it. Haven't hung this set of wall decor. I know the right place for it, but just waiting for a while. Some bowl and place that I already have, few gifted by my very close dear friends. I had kept those away so that I find a proper place to keep those. I don't like to keep my crockery unused or use only on special occasions. I use it most of the time when we have meals together, especially during weekends. So no crockery I have are unused or kept for a show. I do have enough space in my kitchen but I love placing just the crockery in a separate shelf. Only the daily used ones will be placed in a shelf in the kitchen. The rest all will be put in my new crockery shelf. I need a lot of time in placing these because nothing can be assured the right place at first. I need to keep changing either for the looks or for the space. I'm so much obsessed with cups and mugs. I still haven't bought one of my favorite type of cups because I couldn't find the right one. Till then, I get no control over buying these mugs or cups. But as I said earlier, I keep changing what I love to use at that point of time. I don't stick to one single one for my cup of tea.
my placemats and runners were just thrown in a drawer and not well organized however i organize it it gets very messy now i have a place in the crockery shelf rolling the mats make it look wrinkle free earlier i used to fold and keep but that wasn't a good one to do i normally buy four placemats rolled all together and then tied with a string This is a single drawer which will be used to place all the placemats and runners. I had bought this small lovely looking plant pot at a very affordable price in Panama rates. We'll place this above the crockery shelf. These plastic covers are always scattered here and there. So fold it and kept in a box for the time being. If the covers get bored that it doesn't fit in here, we'll change the storing place. This area needs a change now as most of the crockery are shifted to the shelf. This area is somewhere not easily accessible, need a step to reach. So I place those extra jars and storage containers I will need maybe once in a while or maybe not always. I took out this plant pot thinking of placing it next to the small plant pot on top of the crockery shelf. Though the plan looked pretty hanging from there, the pot wasn't a good sight. We'll have to place it in a basket later. Anyways, that was the finished look before I took off the hanging plan from there. I had been telling about a routine I have on Thursdays. I didn't feel it was something for a single video because my routine is almost the same every day but few additions I do on Thursdays particularly. So thought to include it in this video. I love when it is Wednesday because of the fact that it's Thursday next day. Any mess I see I try to fix it up on Wednesday night especially in my wardrobe. This hanger is from IKEA and it's my all time favorite for organizing my hijabs.
on every Thursdays, Mandy Tree is changing the sheets and sometimes the blankets. If you have been watching me for some time, you will know I use mostly fitted sheets for the reason that it's easy to fit in and spreads neat. Only the folding after laundry is a bit tricky, but now I have learned to do so. Towels will be cleaned, but whites have a separate day and any white towels will be on that day. Normally, plain color duvets goes well with printed sheets, but I don't have one. Same way, printed duvets goes well with plain color sheets, but I wanted to use this sheet today. So that's how you fold a fitted sheet. I had seen these DIY storage box from paper bags on Pinterest and they are easy to make. I was not sure if it will come out well hence didn't shoot this and this is very easy to make. The top half of the paper bag will go inside, you just have to fold in the middle and you get a fairly good size of an organizing box. Make sure you had cut the handles to place on the side. Mark the points and give a cut, then add a small piece of the tape on the marks cut. Again give a gentle cut, pass through the handle string and give a knot behind so that it doesn't come off. I had this thick cardboard that comes with the bed sheets. We'll cut to make a divider. Glue it. Let it dry and it's good to go for organizing any lightweight materials or you can even place this inside your drawers. Every Thursday, I have a good cleanup to my wooden chopping board as well as my chapati board. I sprinkle some salt and rub all over with a slice of lemon. You may use vinegar instead of lemon if you want.
Using lemon or vinegar with salt, remove those dirt from the wooden surface. Clean it well and let it dry either on its own or use a towel to pat dry. Meanwhile, I went to clean the stove and this is not just in the Thursday routine, it's every day. These are cleaned every Thursdays. Now after these are dry, apply some oil. I use olive oil. Most of my white towels are put for washing. That's why this box is almost empty. Mats are changed on Thursdays. I do have one more task that is done on Thursday but in case I forget or I don't have time to do, 
then it's done on friday mornings and that's watering my plants yes i water my plants once in a week So that's all for today's vlog and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Do share your valuable comments below in the comment section. Stay tuned for more. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.